So I know that you understand what makes a good WordPress plugin. And because of that, I know that you have the Autonami plugin for WordPress installed inside your WordPress website. And you're using that plugin as your CRM. You're not using ActiveCampaign. You're not using MailChimp. You're using Autonami because you know that it is an amazing plugin for WordPress. But have you gone and tried to set out a double opt-in feature for your opt-in forms? Because lately I actually went and tried to do that. And I thought it was going to be a very easy to follow thing where I'd set up an automation and if somebody filled out this opt-in form, I'd subscribe into this list. But I actually ran into a problem that I hadn't realized was inside of Autonami. And I finally found a fix for it. So what I want to do in this tutorial is firstly, show you how to use Autonami to go and set up a double opt-in form. And then after that, I'm going to run through the problem and then give you an idea of where to find the fix for this. So there's a lot to go through in this video, but I will say if you are using double opt-ins now, definitely watch this video because you might not even realize that you have this problem currently inside your WordPress install with Autonami. So without further ado, let's get into the first thing, which is how to set up a double opt-in form using Autonami and Autonami automation. So the first thing that we need to do is actually just go out and build our opt-in page and put in our opt-in form. So to do that, I'm going to assume that you have the WooFunnels plugin for two reasons. Firstly, because WooFunnels is just the best WordPress plugin ever. And secondly, because it actually comes bundled with the Autonami plugin because they're made by the same developers. So if you're using Autonami and you're watching this video, you probably have WooFunnels installed. If you don't, I'm going to leave links in the description below. I highly recommend checking out these two plugins. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go to WooFunnels and go to Funnels and we'll click Add New. And I'm just going to call this Lead Magnet Top 10 Plugins for 2022. And then we're just going to choose this one here. So we'll click Import. And now that's done. So let's just run through what we have out of the box to this point. So we have this page here. And if we click Get Instant Access, a modal shows we have our name. So Grant. So now let's submit the form. And now we'll be taken to the Thank You page. And this would say, go please check your email for further instructions. So let's go ahead and we're going to edit these two pages here. So we'll edit this one first and we'll edit the template. So here we'll say, get my top 10 WordPress plugins for 2022 like that. And then here we'll say, uh, enter your details below and we'll send you the list instant like that. Okay, very simple. We're not going to go play around with the design or anything. This is strictly the functionality. So now that that's set up, let's actually go ahead and we're going to exit out of this. Okay, so get my list of top 10 plugins. Click this. There's our form, get instant access. And now we go to this page. Let's quickly edit this. And then we'll say, you know, amazing. Please check your email for the download link like that. Uh, this button, we can just go ahead and we'll delete that. Uh, we can delete most of this. I'm just going to leave it here. But what we're going to do, uh, just while we're here, I think it's really cool. I actually saw this online on another website and I've implemented it. Get a progress bar like this and just drag it into the top. And then you're going to set this to like 80% or something like that. And then so what's happening is people fill out that form. They go here and it says they're so close. Uh, go check your e email for the download link to get the top to get the top 10 plugins like that and we'll click save so now that that's done let's exit out of this and let's go back and i want to show you quickly so with that particular template if we go into it so we'll go to lead magnets so our opt-in page if we view this and then we go edit with elementor so this button here if we click on this button it opens up a pop-up and this element inside elementor is called the opt-in pop-up so that's actually an element so if we go to our list of elements here and we go to woo funnels so i'm just going to get rid of all of these. So Woo Funnels opt-in form and then an opt-in pop-up. So this button here is the opt-in pop-up module. So this form here isn't a gravity form. It's not a fluent form. It's not any other form plugin. It comes pre-built using Woo Funnels. They have their own modules for Elementor. So that's the opt-in pop-up there. What you could also do if we exit out of this, uh, we could go here and we'll go to Woo Funnels. We could do an opt-in form that's in line if you didn't want to do a pop-up. So it could look something like that. But I just wanted to show you that because we're going to need to understand Understand that when we go and start the automation and start triggering that automation. So now that I've shown that, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one here. We're going to stick with the opt-in. Uh, the next thing I want to do is just update this. And we're actually going to go and we're going to view the page. And then we're going to edit the opt-in page. Now we need to give this a meaningful name. And I'll show you why in a second. So here we'll say top 10 plugins for 2022 and update. And remember this title. So now back in our dashboard, let's go down to Autonami. And we're going to go to automations. And we're going to add a new automation. And this is going to be for our lead map 
magnet. For the top 10 plugins of 2022, we'll click add. And then here we're gonna start this automation. And then under forms, see how this says elemental or fluent forms? We haven't used these. We've used the pre-built module that comes with WooFunnels. So it's actually under WooFunnels and then opt-in forms. So let's click form submitted and go continue. And then the form is this one, opt-in page, top 10 plugins. So this is the name of that page that we just edited. That's why I said it was important to give these meaningful names. Otherwise you're gonna get very confused very fast as it grows. So that's the one that we just set up. And then we want a map. So the email is gonna be the email field. So when that form is submitted, direct action, we're gonna add an action. We're gonna create a contact inside Autonami and we're gonna map this. So the merge tags, so opt-in here. So form fields, opt-in, click on this. And we're gonna do the email, so copy and then paste. And then the first name, we have that as well. So first name, copy and paste. Now status is gonna be set by default to unverified because we're doing the double opt-in. That's why you're watching this video. And now that's done. So now what we need to do is just send the user an email. So direct action, we're gonna send an email and we're gonna say to the contacts email like this. So copy and paste subject. Here is your download link. So here we'll say hi, and then we'll get their first name, the name, contact first name, the fallback be there, copy, paste. So I've just said hi, contact first name. Here is your link to download my list of top 10 WordPress plugins for 2022. And this is where we're gonna put the link to download that. I'm gonna show you how to create that link in a second. Please note by clicking the above link, you are agreeing to join our mailing list and be emailed in the future. You can unsubscribe at any time. Thank you, Grant. That's what we're gonna do there. So now that we've got that all working, we need to go and generate this link here. So to do this inside Autonomy, we're gonna use link triggers. So if we go link trigger and we're gonna go add new and we'll say lead magnet, top 10 WordPress plugins for 2022, add. And now when somebody clicks this, we need to send them to a URL and then we're gonna add actions there. So we actually need to go and make this URL here. So because we're using WooFunnels, I'm just gonna open this and we're gonna create a third step in that funnel. So back into this lead magnet. So we have the opt-in page, the uh, page that says, please check your email for the download link. So here we're gonna go add new step and we could say thank you page. And then here, let's just go ahead and we're gonna say download page and we'll click add and then we'll click into it. And then let's go ahead and let's actually use something like this. Let's go import. Maybe people are opting in to get a secret unlisted video where you go through your favorite plugins. So this could be an example there. Uh, let's just quickly edit this. My top 10 WordPress plugins are below in the video. So here, maybe we give them the option to download it as a PDF, download the list as a PDF here, and then we can center it and we can make it extra large like so. I'm not gonna link to it. You just link to a file that you would upload it if you had something like that, uh, but that's not really about this tutorial. So let's go ahead and we're gonna save that. And now that's all done. So we need to get this URL up here and in our link trigger, when people click it, they're gonna go to this URL. So we're gonna do that. And the action is we're gonna update the fields and we're gonna set their status to subscribed. Now note this, above actions will run once per contact. That's very important that you remember that because I'm gonna come back to that at the end of this video and say why this is such an important thing for us going out and setting up double opt-ins. You really need to understand this. But for now, we're gonna click save. And now that's done. So let's go back to our automations and back to this one here. And then in this email, and we're gonna replace this with our link trigger, which is this top one. So copy, and we're gonna paste that there. And we obviously need to use that as a hyperlink, sorry. So click here to get the list. And we're just gonna go like that. And we're gonna link, gonna go to the link trigger. Okay, so that's all set up. And while we're here, just quickly, I released a video a couple of days ago where I showed you how to use Autonami's drag and drop email builder to customize your WooCommerce emails and every other type of email email in your website. So I actually have a template saved from that video, but I definitely recommend going watching that video after this one here. But I'll show you quickly just how you would use that template. So if we go up to here, this is the template. So if I click apply, now it's drag and drop and that template's applied. So we could actually launch the editor and just quickly customize this. So hi, first name, here is your download link. And then here, the list of my top 10 WordPress plugins for 2022 is below and a bit of text. And then we could say download now. And then this, we we'll just link to the link trigger. So we go link triggers and it's this one here. So copy and we just paste it into the URL for that button. And we could actually go ahead and just customize this image. And I'll just use this one here. So it could look something like that. And then the text down here by clicking the above link, you agree to subscribe to our mailing list. You can unsubscribe at any time. So now when people click this button to download our lead magnet, that link trigger fires and the link trigger when they click that button is gonna take them to this uh, URL here, sorry. And it's gonna change their status to 
subscribed. So let's go ahead and save that. And we're just gonna exit out of this. So now that that's all set up, let's go ahead and we're gonna activate this automation. And now let's go ahead and test. So we'll go to funnels and then lead magnet. And then let's open up our opt-in page. So get my list of top 10 WordPress plugins for 2022, instant access, name, email, get instant access. Please check your email for the download link. And then if we go to Autonomy and then contacts, here we are, we've been created as per the automation and we're in unverified status. So here in my inbox, it says, here is your download link. Get the list here, download now. By agreeing, you agree to be subscribed to the mailing list. And if we click this button here, the link trigger takes us to this URL here. And then it also sets us to subscribed and we can double check that. If we go back here and we just refresh the page and now we're subscribed. So now that we've gone and set up a double opt-in inside Autonomy, I went and did exactly this for my business where on my website, Website on my homepage. If you go to wagepirate.com and you scroll down, I have a lead magnet here. So if you click download now, you can put in your name and email address like this and then click show me the list. And then that takes people to this page here. Check your email. This person is now in the unverified status inside Autonomy. An email is sent to their inbox and when they click, they go back to a page where they can see my list and in the process, Autonomy subscribes them to Autonomy. So this is exactly what I set up, what I've shown you in this video for my own business. The problem lies when we need to go and set up a general opt-in like this. So I'm gonna explain why this is a problem and why the default way that you would go and set up a double opt-in inside Autonomy, which is what I've shown you in this video, doesn't work all the time, but there is a way that you can go ahead and fix it. So let me explain the problem so that you understand what it is. The chances are that somebody's probably only gonna to apply to get that lead magnet once. It's not something that people are gonna, you know, fill out multiple times because they've already received it the first time. But let's just say if we go down, we have this general opt-in in form where I'm saying to people, put in your email address here, you'll be subscribed to my mailing list and then I'll email you every now and then. There's no lead magnet. So the mindset of people going and filling out this form is they could put in their name and email address here, subscribe to my general mailing list. They could receive some emails over a certain period and then they might go, you know what? I'm not really wanting these emails right now and they could unsubscribe. But later on, that person could go, oh, you know what? I actually am back into WordPress. I wanna receive those emails again, they might come to my general subscribe form and fill out that form a second time to subscribe. And this is where the problem lies with Autonomy. If we go to Autonomy and we go to link triggers and we'll just click back into this link trigger and we're going to edit it. Now the problem lies in this setting here. Above actions will run once per contact. And the best way to explain why this is a problem for a double opt-in is just to show you where this system breaks down. So let's go back and we're going to go to find and we're going to create a new opt-in page. So we'll go add new and this will be general mailing list subscribe page and click add. And we're gonna do an opt-in form and let's just go ahead and select a different one. So let's go ahead and maybe choose this one here. So we'll go import and I'll view this one. And then I'm just gonna quickly edit this. So now that I've done that, I'll just run you through what I've done. Get my emails, click the button below to join my mailing list. WordPress tips and tricks every week or so. And then they click subscribe now name, email, subscribe. So when would you want to use a page like this? It might be you're putting out YouTube videos and then in your YouTube description, it just says, please join my mailing list or click here to join my mailing list. People would click that link in your video description and then land on this page here. And then they click this button and they sign up. So you're sending traffic to this page here and they're just opting in to receive your general emails. They're not opting in to receive a lead magnet because the difference is that people, when they get the lead magnet, so if somebody's getting the list of your top uh, WordPress plugins, they click here and put this in. The chances of them trying to get that lead magnet in the future are, are pretty slim. Whereas this page here where people are signing up to just generally get your emails, people might want to do that multiple times throughout the dealings with your business. So for example, you know, today I might want to sign up for these tips and then in a month's time, you know, I don't really want to receive these emails. So I unsubscribe. And then six months later, I might see a video pop up on YouTube and go, oh yeah, like I like those emails. I'm ready for them again. Click the link, land back on this page, fill out this same form to get the general emails. And so I want to start receiving them again. But this is where Autonomy out of the box falls through. If we go back here under Autonomy and we go to link triggers and we edit this link trigger and then we go edit, this is very important now. Above actions will run once per contact. So this ability to go from status to subscribed when this link trigger is clicked only happens once. So 
if somebody goes from unverified to subscribed and now they're double opted in, if they unsubscribe, but then complete that same form and click that same link trigger, they don't get resubscribed. So I'll just show you this in action right now, just so it's a bit clearer. So if we go back and we'll go to contacts and I'll just make sure I don't exist. And then we want to go to automations and go to this one here. And when the form submits, we're just going to change it to this form that we just set up. So this form here triggers, which is this one here. So when somebody fills in this form, now this automation starts. So we create a contact, send them the download link. And this download link has a link trigger. And when they click that, it subscribes them. So let's go ahead and test this. So let's just open this in a new tab and we'll click subscribe now. I'll put in my email and click yes, sign me up. And then they land on this page here that says, please check your inbox. And if we refresh our contact, so there we are here and we're set to unverified. In our inbox, we have this email. I'll click that link trigger. And now that that's been clicked, if I go back here and refresh, now we're subscribed. But let's just say our user unsubscribes. So we'll click here and then we'll go unsubscribe. Okay, now I've gone ahead and I've unsubscribed. I was getting a little bit over the emails. Six months later, I watch a YouTube video and I click the link and I land back on this page. And I say, yeah, I wanna get those tips again. And I'll put in my name and email and go, yes, sign me up. Okay, please check your inbox. So we're going back through this automation. So form submits, that's been done. Create contact. The contact already exists. It's just in unsubscribe status. But look what happens here. Remember this automation sets our status to unverified. If we go back to the contacts and we have a look, notice how I'm not set back to unverified to then subscribe me again. I stay as unsubscribed. So this is part of the problem. Now, if I go to my inbox and here's that email, it was sent zero minutes ago. So the one that we just did, if I click this link trigger again, I land back on the download page and we know that this link trigger is supposed to take us to the download page, but then update our status to subscribed. But if I go and check my contact, which is here and I refresh it, notice how I stay as unsubscribed. So that's the issue here. And it relates to this here above actions will run once per contact. So this is a really big issue because you have to think that if people are going back and they're trying to resubscribe because they're interested in your content, people coming back for a second or a third time, that's actually really good for your business. You're drawing people back. It's like a repeat purchaser. They're hotter than just a random person subscribing to your mailing list. So these are the people that we really want to resubscribe and really pay attention to and really nurture. And in this instance, those hot leads are trying to resubscribe and they're just staying in unsubscribed status. So it is a big issue that you really want to fix. Now, after some playing around with this, I've managed to fix this and I want to show you how this works now after my fix. So behind the scenes, I've gone out and added the fix that gets around this problem. And then here I am. So I'm set to unsubscribed. And then let's go ahead and complete this form again. So I'm going to put in my name. I'm going to put in my email and I'm going to click yes, sign me up. Please check your inbox. So here's that email sent zero minutes ago. So remember, I'm trying to resubscribe now. So I've already done it in the past. I subscribed, unsubscribed. Now I'm clicking this to resubscribe. So let's click this. So now I'm back on this page. So now if we go back here and where I was unsubscribed from the past, if we just refresh this and now I'm subscribed again. So I'm going to cut this video here because it's getting a little bit lengthy. But if you watch this video here, I'm going to show you how I went and fixed this so that you can actually go and resubscribe people inside Autonomy. It's very important. Here's that video.